Well, hello there, my hardworking mathematicians. You know, geometric solids are everywhere, even in the grocery store. And you know, with this stay-at-home order, I got to do something that I've not gotten the chance to do very often, and that is go grocery shopping. And my bag is full of geometric solids that I'm hoping you'll be able to help me identify. So we're going on a math hunt with 3D or three-dimensional geometric solids. We're going to be taking a look at some spheres, cones, cylinders, cubes, and rectangular prisms. We'll also be taking a look at the defining attributes of those, taking a look at the number of faces each of these items have, the number of edges, and the number of vertices. Remember, one we call a vertex, more than one we call vertices. Now remember, a face is a flat surface of a geometric solid. An edge is a place where those flat surfaces meet. The place where three or more of those edges meet is the vertex. So let's take a look inside my bag. First, I have, oh boy, orange fingers, here I come. I'm not talking about the container, I'm talking about what's inside. Yummy cheese balls. Now tell me about the shape of each of these yummy snacks. What are these deals? Sure, they're spheres. Next, I have an onion. Next, these are my personal favorite, blueberries. And they are, sure, they're spheres again. And Mr. Drudy's all-time favorite, those atomic fireballs. Not my favorite. Also in the shape of a, that's right, spheres. Now, remembering that faces are flat surfaces. How many faces does a sphere have? That's right, zero. How many edges? That's right, zero. How many vertices? That's exactly right, zero. Let's see what else we have. Oh, yes, bugles. Now, I'm not talking about the sack. I'm talking about the snack. And you told me those are in the shape of a cone. And we had Mr. Drudy's party hat. And we had even better when filled with ice cream, those waffle cones. And tell me the defining attributes. How many faces, even though this one is hollow? That's right, it would have one. And how many edges? Remembering they have to be straight. That would be zero. And how many vertices? That would be one. Next up. We had our yummy cylinders. That was our string cheese. That was my major score with our Lysol wipes. That was my Pringles, and I was talking about the container, not the snack. 
and my marshmallows whose bag I don't think I have handy and tell me about the defining attributes of those how many faces reminding yourself they're flat surfaces that would be two how many edges reminding yourself they had to be straight that is zero and how many vertices you're right also zero next up let's take a look at our cubes which yes that would include our cheese cubes and the container that my Argo cornstarch came in now I'm kind of asking you to disregard the lid but when I take a look I have one two three four five six same size same shape faces there's a word for same size same shape do you remember what it is congruent and so yeah there are six faces how many edges now the edges are tricky there are one two three four on the top, four more on the bottom, so that would be five, six, seven, eight, but don't forget those on the side, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And how many vertices? One, two, three, four on the top, and four more on the bottom, five, six, seven, eight. And those were our cubes from my shopping trip. Now, the rectangular prisms are easy because I like to think of them as just Stretch Armstrong cubes. And that was my Nesquik, or back when I was a child, Nestle's Quick to make my chocolate milk. And that was my stick of butter. And that was my yummy granola bar and my teeny tiny Hershey's miniature. Now, the faces, again, it's very similar to a cube because it's just been stretched Armstrong. I have one, two, three, four, five, six faces. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, just like I did with my cube. And those boxy points one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And those are the defining attributes of my shopping trip. How about a song? Let's do it. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Let's do that again. Let's do that one again. Let's go! Spheres, cylinder, 
you enjoyed that. I enjoyed presenting that to you. Until next time, bye-bye.